Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice algebraic equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, this follows when we have a square minus b square. It's the same thing as a plus b into bracket, open bracket a minus b. As this, we can rewrite this equation. This becomes x plus y into bracket, open bracket x minus y. Then equals to 65 on this side. Then here we can break 65 into two factors. As this is it that we have 65 times 1, or we have 1 times 65, or we have 13 times 5, or we have 5 times 13. Then yeah, x plus y for x and y to be a member of integer is x and y. We are finding here for x and y to be a member of positive integer. Then here yeah, we need to have this and x plus y, of course. Is greater than x minus y that is the first case here we solve this condition this will not solve this also will solve this condition and this will not solve this condition now we have two cases now for case one which is 65 times 1 then what we have, this equation now can be written as x plus y into bracket, open bracket, x minus y, then equals to 65 times 1. That is, from here, x plus y equals to 65, then x minus y equals to 1. So we have these two equations here. We can solve this simultaneously. What we had here, yeah, we eliminate y. So here we have 2x, then y eliminated 65 plus 1, that's 66. And here we divide both sides by 2. Yeah, divide this side by 2, divide this side by 2. 2 cancelled each other here. Yeah? This becomes x equals to 66 over 2, that's 33. So we have x equals to 33 for this. Then to get y, use equation 2 here. If this is equation 1, this is equation 2. So use equation 2, that is, we have x minus y equals to 1. That is 33 minus y equals to 1. So take one here and take minus y there so that you have 33 minus 1 equals to plus y and this is 32 equals to y which same thing as y equals to 32 so we have y to be 32 here as this from the first case here x comma y is equals to 33 comma 32 so we have this as the first solution. Then for the second case here, which is case two, which is 13 times five now, what we have that is x plus y into bracket, open bracket, x minus y. This becomes 13 times five. That is, we have x plus y. That's equals to 13. Then x minus y. That's equals to 5. Also, we solve these two equations simultaneously. When we had here, x plus x, 2x. Y as we eliminated equals to 13 plus 5. That's 18. Divide both sides by 2. Yeah, by 2. Also, this side by 2. 2 cancel each other here. We have x equals to 18 over 2. That's 9. This 
this case we have x equals to 9 also gets y using the second equation here x minus y or you can use equation 1 as x plus y equals to 13 whichever one then x which is 9 plus y equals to 13 then take 9 to the other side we have y equals to 13 minus 9 and y equals to 4, four year that is the solution here which is x comma y for this case 2 we have 9 comma 4 so we have this as the second solution then we check here if this here satisfy this given problem that is we substitute the value of x and y for x squared minus y squared equals to 65 that is for the first case here which is 33 comma 32 that this year we have x square that's 33 square minus 32 square will it be equal to 65 on this side and also for the second case which is 9 comma 4 9 square minus 4 square is equals to 65 on this side okay now from here 33 square you can multiply that out that's 33 times 33 that is when we multiply here 3 times 3 9 also 3 times 3 9 3 times 3 9 3 times 3 9 then here we can add here that is 9 this 18 you mean 1 and this 1 0 now that is here we have a 3 square that's 1089 minus also 30 square we have 32 multiply by 32 here 2 times 2 4 2 times 3 6 3 times 2, 6, 3 times 3, 9. So here we have 4. This is 12, right? To carry 1. This is 1, 0. Now. So we have 1,024 here. 1,024. This is equal to 65 here. So just subtract here. We have minus 1,024. This here we have 5. 9 minus 4, that's 5. Then 8 minus 2, 6, and this 0, 0. So here we have 65. So this side, this is 65, which is equals to 65 here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. Then this side as well, we have 9 square, that's 81 minus 4 square, that's 16. This is equals to 65 on this side. So when we subtract here 81 minus 16 of course that's 65 which is equals to 65 left hand side equals to the right hand side and therefore conclude that these two set of solutions are the positive integer solutions to this given problem thank you for watching don't forget to stay subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment See you next class and bye for now.